So we get a description of how the time loop is behaving. Where it comes this from. This line is time. This is when the loop begins at 6, 11 a.m. Cuz electrocuted himself on the arc. This caused forward time to bend back on itself, creating a close time loop. And the day repeats. Time resets every three hours, 14 minutes, and 15 seconds. Yeah, so cool. Is this mm -hmm. is this reasonable? Is this is this interesting? And also, wait, how long? It, he said he said the loop takes three hours, fourteen minutes, and fifteen seconds. That's pi, isn't it? That's pi. That's pi. Yeah. Three point one four one five. Thanks. So little? yeah, so <laughs> pi pi came out as the time interval, and I thought mm -hmm. about this. I said maybe maybe that's the magic number, because because like for example, when we have electricity magnetism equations, you get these one over four pi epsilon knots floating around yeah. all the time, and then depending mm -hmm. on the geometry of the problem, depending on if you have to integrate twice or whatever, you end up getting left mm -hmm. over with a pi, and so maybe maybe this is. I mean, and also a pi is a half circle. It's two pi for a full circle, right? But maybe that's also okay. So so maybe this time loop. The, the, so two things. One, maybe the time loop that it takes an hour. It takes it takes three point one five, one three point one four one five nine um, seconds or, or hours. Start. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe the length of the time is pi. Makes sense because from E and M equations that often gets mm -hmm. left around. That's right. And then maybe the fact that it's not a half circle is okay because if you were to count this time in a full circle, you should get two pi, but this is it's counted twice like every every you do a vertical line test and mm -hmm. every one of these points in the circle every point is counted twice except for the ends and so maybe a half circle maybe pi is right maybe pi is right so my only pushback on pi is that time is is a weird base like hours are base 12 <laughs> seconds and minutes are base 60 so if you had like 3.14159 and base 10 and you translated that to this mixture of base 12 and base 60 Okay. <laughs> would would, point. would the the numbers come out? My instinct is saying probably. My instinct not. is my instinct is saying super no. Yeah. I think seconds are okay because that's based off of something physical. That's based off of like the cesium clock. Although, why cesium? It could have been hydrogen. I guess if you stay, if you pick a unit like seconds, okay. and you stick with it, and you only change the decimal place, like in si mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you don't have mixtures of bases then i think that makes you would probably sense. see like you know 314.15 seconds maybe or something like that which where, is like six hours or some something okay. whatever it is so maybe cut that in half <laughs> but <laughs> it's cool though maybe I mean, okay yeah. hang on this is a man-made machine yeah and the man-made machines computer clocks will be working in base 12 hours in 60 minutes and yeah. whatever many seconds. Right? Okay. Okay. Maybe. Okay. 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 So maybe it's base ambivalent. It's like, oh, no I'm matter how built, you... It's built into human bases because mm -hmm. the computer's mm -hmm. clock is already going to be built into our 24 hours a day. I think that sounds... 60 minutes an hour. Yeah. That sounds plausible. Somehow there's some coupling between the way we defined pi and our bases of our time such that it was always going to come out that way. That would be interesting to see how that could even occur in a calculation. But since we don't understand the calculations, it's possible. Possible. Also, yeah, like so maybe it's visual. It's a really clean visual for understanding what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. Renton's super smart. He like pieced I mean, this together. He's like, I know how to draw this out in a simple diagram. I mean, it to take something complicated and explain it in nice, simple terms, graphically or with words, is actually a sign that the intelligence is really high. If you take Absolutely. something complicated and can't distill it down, that can the always, gosh, I don't it's, want to say it's, always. It, it's, it's somehow, yeah, it's often associated with an inability to distill down to the important facts which means right. you don't really understand what's going on because you can't figure out what's mm -hmm. important, what's not important. Right. So you're just like, here's the whole mess. Like you deal with it. Like, yeah. Right. But at the same time, sometimes situations and ideas are complicated and there's no reducing it down to more basic elements. Yeah. But understanding when you can and when you can't is also a sign of intelligence. I, mean, I guess an example would be the Yosemite wolves. You can't, mm -hmm. and then like the, the, 
it's a nonlinear system with the wolves versus the deer versus the plants versus the flowers and the bees. Like you, you can't reduce it down to just the wolves because the wolves need to interact with a lot of stuff. Like, right. Yeah. So I guess ecology, I guess that's the study of how wildlife and plants and all that stuff interact. You cannot distill it down into simple things. So you have to just sort of dump the complexity down. And that's, mm. that's as simple as it gets. But here it's super simple in a, yeah. in a sense. <laughs> yeah i've explained this to people that physics is complicated but also one of the simplest sciences because we are able to like break things down to really simple stuff yeah you know and i've also felt this like when you're learning physics it feels really complicated and difficult but then once you understand some concept you're like oh that's it like idea oh. number two falls out of number one if you understand huh. one then two happens yeah and now As three happens I'm starting to put it together. Wait, this isn't that complicated at all. Yeah. yeah. But unlike psychology experiments, those things are complicated. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Ugh. Absolutely. 